If you're a fan of Amy Winehouse, then you've probably heard of the movie coming out this week in theaters called Back to Black. The life and music of Amy Winehouse through the journey of adolescence to adulthood and the creation of one of the best selling albums of all time. This movie is directed by Sam Taylor Johnson and it stars Marissa Abella as Amy Winehouse. Now, as a point of reference where I want to start this review with saying is that I like this movie. It is pretty surface level. I think it could have gone a little bit deeper in Amy Winehouse's life, but I think as a celebration and a love letter to her life, it is very interesting to see all the songs come to life right after what had happened that inspired those songs. And I think in a way, this is kind of one of those musical biopics that doesn't dive deep into the life of Amy Winehouse or in general, the star of it all that maybe some people will be wanting, but it does intrigue you more to want to know more about her life, to do some research afterwards. And it kind of makes you a fan of the music and seeing how it is. And when we say music video movies, I think this film can kind of be depicted as that. What I'm about to say might come off as like an issue for some and, that, and that'll be okay if it is, but I kind of found that this movie felt like a music video, but extended into a movie format into the way that it explores the songs and explores Amy Winehouse. And I found it to be kind of interesting. Now, again, not here to defend the movie fully. I still liked it. I can understand the complaints with it all, but I do kind of think it's a little bit underrated. And like seeing that Rotten Tomato score, I, I do not agree with that. But I definitely want to get your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. So make sure to leave your thoughts down there. Hit that like and subscribe button. What is your favorite Amy Winehouse song? Share it down below. And without further ado, let's dive into the pros. Now, as someone who has liked Amy Winehouse's music, but never been like the biggest diehard fan of it all, and really not known a lot about her life, I was going into this film expecting to learn a little bit more about her. And I learned. I learned enough to make me intrigued, like I had mentioned. But the one thing that I came out of this movie thinking about was who the fuck is Marissa Abella, who plays Amy Winehouse here? Like, where did she come from? Because she is super herb in here she carries and becomes amy winehouse not in just in terms of singing because i did look it up she did do some of her own songs and and really much was trained to mimic amy winehouse's voice not saying it's completely accurate not saying that she does all the singing in here but marissa really comes into this and again transforms in amy winehouse who was a very interesting but also different type of musician and artist out there. And I think what she kind of reminds me of is some of the artists that we now follow along where some of their music doesn't come from personal experiences. It comes from just something that maybe it'll make them famous. And that's not the reason she was making music. The reason she was making music was that was her form of rehab, basically. That was her form of expressing herself and her way to express herself. And I think a lot of music artists lose that. And I really, was really appreciative to see how Marissa was able to tackle that experience personally for me. On top of that a little bit more, what I also really want to claim here is actually Sam Taylor Johnson as a director. Now, I haven't been the biggest fan of all of her movies, that, like Fifty Shades of Grey, not my cup of tea, but like going back to Nowhere Boy, I was a pretty big fan of that movie. I think that's still probably her best movie. I was really happy to see her kind of bring some of that influence in, not afraid to take those little moments to let the characters kind of just have that beat, to have a conversation, to have Amy Winehouse having a conversation with her dad or her husband or any of these different nuances that, again, let the scene flow and build up to the reason that the next song would become to life. And I think for me, that is one of those things that I find to be a celebration and a love letter to Amy Winehouse's life that decides to get into some of the tragic stuff, but never goes fully deep. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in my mixed and con aspects of the film. But I think there's like a devil's advocate situation here is that like it's respectful. It doesn't indulge or like harm any sort of way that some like people have actually been like clamoring that this film is going to be and that it's going to be a disgrace to Amy Winehouse. No, I, I don't think it even tackles or touches her life in there. In a way, it is a very respectful form of celebrating her album and celebrating her as an artist. And I actually really like the approach to that. Now, again, I'm not the biggest fan of Amy Winehouse, so maybe some of you will be a little bit disappointed not to see that, but I liked how they were able to tell this story, how it was using this album, using the songs from that album 
to push us forward into the emotional avenue. And again, Marissa Abella, for me, I think is the best part about the entire film is because she sells each and every one of those moments. And it made me just want to learn more about Amy Winehouse, who died at a tragic age of 27 years old. I think what this movie will also be used for is in the same essence that it will teach others who Amy Winehouse is in the future because of being an artist that died so soon. Now, as I mentioned that, let's dive into my issues and my cons with the film. So first off, one of my mixed aspects that I think is going to be different for everyone is the same thing I just mentioned is the way that the film is actually told in story. I think the way it's told is like this music video type of aspect where it tells the kind of sequence and then gets into the song and then plays out this montage type vibe. Not going to be for everybody. For me, it worked little surface level would I have appreciated an actual movie yeah probably I would have appreciated something that was diving a little bit deeper I think 30 minutes more probably would have really fleshed out the movie a bit and that's kind of like where I get to my issue with the film is that while I appreciate what they were trying to go for as an artistic vision it personally felt a little bit lost in some of the story aspects because there will be parts where characters are like for some reason bickering and arguing and saying that they fight all the time I never saw that. I don't see that in the movie. I don't know the true story. And for Amy Winehouse fans, again, they, they might know that. They might know that instance of what they're talking about, but I don't. It's because I'm just not huge. I, I don't know her entire life. And that, and that is one aspect that keeps you at arm's distance from a lot of the emotional aspects. And I think if Marissa wasn't such a great actress in this and gives a great performance then I probably would have lacked a lot of nuance and maybe wouldn't have come around and away from this film so positive or positive to a certain degree and finding it a little bit more underrated than what some others are actually saying about it all. And that for me was actually one of the more disappointing pieces of the film is that it just felt like it was the greatest hits of her life. And it sounds weird to say that because of how depressing some of her life can be and how hard it was and how much she actually went through. But it was showing the greatest hits of her songs, how she came to create them, and I really liked seeing that artistic view and how I think maybe some others can learn from Amy Winehouse and learn from this film that, like, hey, like you don't have to turn to this and this to get your venting and to get your frustrations out. You can turn to an artistic approach. But at the same time, there's just so much character depth missing that in the end of the day, every person in this film is very surface level. And I feel everyone else in this film should have gotten a little bit more depth. Every relationship should have gotten a little bit more depth. And I wouldn't have felt as arm's length from the character the entire way through. And that's where I feel the most mixed on the movie. And specifically, I can see the biggest issue being of the film that particular way. And it's going to be different for everybody. You might be the biggest Amy Winehouse fan and watch this movie and cry your eyes out and think it's an incredible masterpiece. And honestly, I, I might get it. But I can also see someone watching this and thinking it's not the greatest thing ever because it's missing out on so much. I'm very much in the middle where I appreciate what they were going for, but I definitely think it missed the mark on a couple different places. But I'm definitely excited to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comments section. So leave your thoughts, please, down there. But to finalize this review, Back to Black is a movie that was better than I expected. I, I saw the Rotten Tomato score. I heard from friends that it wasn't that great. And I watched it, and I was like, that was a solid biopic. I liked it. It was the greatest hits of her life in a love letter. Not just who she was, but to what she created. And I like those kind of visions and those ideas. It kept me invested the entire way through, even though I wanted to know more about certain situations. It felt that certain things were a little bit rushed through, specifically all the other side characters and the relationships very much felt surface leveled. And I think 30 more minutes to the film could really flesh that all out. But Marissa Abella, I think, is hands down the reason to see this movie. If you are an Amy Winehouse fan, you should go see this movie. If you love Amy Winehouse, you should go see this movie. If you've never listened to her, I don't think this will be your cup of tea. I don't even think you cared about watching this movie. Why are you watching this review? Either way, there's some things I really appreciate about this movie. There's some things that I think would have made it better. I overall, I'm going to land on a C plus for Back to Black, but it's still positive. I still liked it. I just probably wouldn't watch it again. I would rather just go do my own research on Back to Black. But I definitely, again, want to hear your guys' thoughts. So thank you so much again for watching this. And of course, until next time, 
stay classy.